What's up guys, welcome back to Dummy Tech Talks. Yep. So today we're gonna to be replacing a gigabit ethernet switch with a, it says 10 gigabit somewhere on it, I read. Um, anyway, a, a PoE ethernet switch. So there's two devices hooked up to it that have power over ethernet uh, compatibility. We're gonna be able to eliminate the actual PoE injectors and just use this switch as the injector. So it'll be eliminating a couple power cords, clean stuff up a little bit. Um, this is something I did four years ago, so it's not the greatest, but uh, it works. It works well, and uh, we're gonna clean yeah. it up. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna he's gonna clean it up a little. We'll make it look a little better, at least hopefully. I'll put a link for this in the description. Well, there we go. All right. So in this box here, to protect it from the elements under a roof, <laughs> is uh, uh, the Gigabit Ethernet switch. We'll go ahead and open it up. Screw does not have to come all the way out. Yeah. Boom. All right. At least I labeled everything, but man, I made these cables too long. All right. So we're going to be eliminating this, obviously, to this TP link here. That's just an access point. And then there's one down there that you don't have to look at, but it's That's a camera. That's TP link. Yeah. The Eliminate. Outdoor access point. So we won't need the power over Ethernet injector on that. Um, everything is working. I already disconnected the camera, so it is actually the only one that does not have a light on it. I'm going to go ahead and pull this stuff out, and we'll start, start doing our thing. Just like that. Yep, everything's out. That was held on with double-sided tape, which we will have to apply new double-sided tape to the new one to uh, make sure it stays up in there. And we don't need these power anymore. Both of these are gone. All right. Now I'm gonna open up the new one. That box. It's a box and a box. There's the switch. And it does come with little rubber grommets as feet, but we're not going to use those because we're going to, like I said, use double sided tape. And that should be fine. Have a power brick. This is something the other one did not have, so I'll probably have to mount it on the inside of this box to keep it out of the weather, but that should be fine. And then just run this single power cord up to there. That'll eliminate the one, one, one of the ones I took off and the one on the camera that uh, is PoE compatible. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting everything together. I get this stuff off, there we go. Oh. I know, it's, it's pretty... Uh, <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good stuff. All right, I'm gonna plug this, or put this one right back where the other one was. Stick it on there nice and good. Make sure it closes. Perfect. Perfect. All right, now I just hook everything back up. Like I said, I labeled them. I just gotta make sure I get the right ones. Try to get you guys a better angle. If you need to learn how to make an Ethernet cable, I have a video on that as well. And again, I made these way too long. I could cut them shorter, but that would just take way too long. So I'm just gonna do exactly what I did before and make it work. In. We'll go ahead and stick all these Ethernet cables. Well, actually, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to coil them up and <laughs> try to get them to stay inside as best I can. It's not a very powerful switch, so it's not going to get super hot or anything like that, so this should be fine. The other one was perfectly fine. I'm hoping this one will be as well. I'm sorry for the dog barking. She's barking at squirrels. <laughs> Squirrel! Squirrel! All right, so that sealed up. That should do it. It's a little bit better than it was. We eliminated a power cord. I'm gonna get that to stay up there a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And that is the installation of a PoE switch. All right, guys. Well, that was pretty quick, wasn't it? That was a very, very short video. Another goal. Just switching them out. Everything was already installed. This one just removed a couple power over Ethernet injectors and boom. Well, one, and then it also eliminated the power cord for the camera, which is working. Everything's 
fine. It's great. Everything works now. Heck yeah. Well, if you like this and it helped you out, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Yeah. See you next time.